Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So in today's lecture, we will be learning how to schedule a job automatically to run at regular interval and check if Docker service is down and in case it's down, it will automatically start the service. So the prerequisite for this course is cron tab management in Linux. So let us first understand what is cron tab. And once we understand the concept of cron tab, then we'll write the script which will automatically start the Docker service in case it's not running. So what is cron tab? The cron tab is a list of commands that you want to run on regular schedule and also name of command used to manage that list. So in a layman language, if we say cron tab is a list of command which we want to run at a regular interval. Like you want to run some backup in your system at a regular interval, you can schedule cron job, which will automatically run the backup. You want to clean up lot of file systems, like lot of logs are getting generated in your system. You want to clean up those files. You can schedule a cron job, which will automatically do everything in the backend. Similar like that, whatever the task you want to run automatically at a serial interval of time, you can use cron job. Now, so cron tab stands for cron table because it uses the job schedule cron to execute task. So it's a cron table. In the table, you have to mention date, time and everything and it will automatically schedule the job and execute the job. And so cron itself is named after chronos. The this is a Greek word for time dot cron in the system process, which will automatically perform task for you according to a set of schedule. The schedule is called cron tab, which is also the name of program used to edit that schedule. So what is the format of cron job, or what is the format of cron tab? So the first thing will be minute, after that hour, after that date of month, then the month, date of week and the actual command. I'll show all these stuff practically as well. So now let us understand. The first field is minute. So its allowed value is 0 to 59. So if you want to run something every minute or you want to run every 5 minutes or every 10 minutes. So in the minute field, you can fill the value in between 0 to 59. So the first value is minute value. The second value is hour, which will be 0 to 23. If you want to run something hourly, you have to use this hour section. You want to run the job. Suppose you want to run the backup of a system every 7th of the month. So in date of month section, you can select between 1 to 31 and you can decide which date exactly you want to run your job. Now, which month like you want to run it in January, February, March, April. So in between of 1 to 12, you can choose which month exactly you want to run the job. Next is day of week like it starts from Sunday till Saturday which day exactly you want to run the job. So this is day of the week. And the last thing is command. So last what command exactly you want to run that we have to write in the command section. Let us understand one simple example. So here what we have mentioned, first value is 30, then second value is 08, third value is 10, fourth value is 06, and fifth value is a star, and then you have a script called slash home devops take a stack slash full hyphen backup. So what is this value? The first value as I told is what? Minute. The second value is hour. Third value is day of the month like in between 1 to 31. Fourth value is month, actual month between 1 to 12. And fifth value is day of the week between 0 to 6. So fifth value is a star means every week you want to run it. Then let's, let us decode it from the beginning. So first value is 30. What do you mean by 30? Means every 30 minutes you want to run. Second value is 08. 
जीरो एट मीन्स यू वॉन्ट टू रन एवरी एट्थ आवर मीन्स एट थर्टी थर्ड वैल्यू इज डे ऑफ द मंथ सो हुच हुच डे दिस इज टेंथ डे ऑफ द मंथ एंड लास्ट वैल्यू द फोर्थ वैल्यू इज जीरो सिक्स दैट इज हुच मंथ बिटवीन वन टू ट्वेल्व दिस इज जून एंड लास्ट वैल्यू इज ए स्टार मीन्स एवरी वीक यू वॉन्ट टू रन सो वाट विल बी द डिकॉर्डेड वैल्यू इट विल रन एवरी जून date is 10th of june what time 8:30 so if you see the basic usage of cron is to execute job in a specific as shown below this will execute the full backup cell script on 10th june here it is 10th and then this is 06 june so 10th june 8:30 am so it is 24 hour day time format so 8:30 means it's morning and if it's 20:30 means it's evening or 8 pm you can say so this is one of the example of cron tab management now let us do everything practically so let us check first docker status in our system so system ctl status docker currently you see 17 minute ago this is active and running now what i am doing i am stopping this service this can happen in your system like sometime out of memory happen like you don't have enough ram the process can get killed or somebody has uh, intentionally or by mistake somebody has stopped it that can happen but some of the services in your system is really very critical you want someone to monitor it continuously and if something happens immediately restart the service something like some someone is taking care of the job on your behalf so what i am doing i am stopping this docker service as of now so system ctl stop docker now check the status so what you see this is inactive or dead now there is some command related to cron tab the very famous cron tab commands are two commands cron tab hyphen l this is just for viewing the cron tab like if there is some cron tab for your system you can see using cron tab hyphen l means cron tab listing listing of cron tab means if you have scheduled some cron job it will show you so in my system i have scheduled one job which i'll show you but right now you can see hash is written in the beginning hash in cell script means it is commented now if you want to edit this cron schedule what you have to do there is a command called cron tab hyphen e edit so it will be edit option will be enabled now you can schedule it as of now leave it as it is now what is my requirement my requirement is to schedule a cron job which will monitor our docker service continuously and in case somebody has stopped the docker service it should automatically run the cron job which will take care of starting of our docker service so we have a script docker service dot sh which we have done in our last lecture what we have done we are just checking the status of docker and we are getting the value either it's active or inactive so we are just doing if status is active then the message is simple service is running fine but in the else block i am writing one more condition like just it is printing a message and after that i am telling if it's inactive let us start the docker service and then i am closing the if condition using fee so this is a cell script when you run it normally it will check and send you a message or it will show you a message that your docker service is active or not active but in case the service is not active if you run this script it will start the docker service as well in our case i don't want to do this manu manually what i want to do i want to schedule this script in our cron tab so in case docker service is not active what it will do it will monitor it and it will start the docker service so now let us understand it how we can do that so our current location is home ec2 user and script name is docker hyphen service hyphen check dot sh and let us run cron tab hyphen e so remove this hash and i will explain so first star is minute 
second star is our so be not our and then we, we are telling which date like uh, first 1 to 31st and then next value is which month and this value is which day of the week here all five are a star all five star means this job will run every minute and what i am telling to run i am telling to run home ec2 user docker underscore service underscore check dot sh so i am telling every minute just run this cell script and i am using one redirecting symbol and sending it to devnal what exactly this means that if this script is having some issue do not throw any error on the screen instead of that redirect the output to devnal devnal is like send it to somewhere where nobody can see it it's like blacking out or it's a black hole in cell script means anything which you don't want to see just send it to dev null means everything whatever the message is getting generated just i am redirecting it to some black hole which we are not seeing it in the back end it's just throwing the message to dev null now this script once it is scheduled what it will do every minute it will check and in case docker service is not active this will start the docker service so let us schedule this job so job is scheduled how you can see you can see cron tab hyphen l now let us see your docker service status now so system ctl status docker so as of now you can see this is inactive dead here if you see it's inactive dead 4 minutes 52 seconds ago so exactly in 60 seconds this job will be started automatically you keep and watch on the system and let us see once we pass our 60 seconds this job should be started automatically i am just running the status command again so now let us see you what you see 12 seconds ago it was already started automatically we have not done anything if you do not believe let us do one thing let us stop the service again and see what will happen so system ctl stop docker now if you check the status you will see it is down right now it's inactive two seconds ago we have shut down it manually let us wait exactly for 60 seconds and once we run system ctl status command again the cron job is taking care of our task and it is starting this automatically in the back end we are not doing anything manually so these kind of scripts which you will be writing in industries which will run automatically in the back end and it will take care of your job so now let us check the status again and what you see three seconds ago this docker service was started automatically so i hope you guys are now quite clear about the concept of cron tab in linux which is really very very important concept for us Thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time. Have a great day ahead.